Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I know the police department looks at the number of views on the YouTube videos and nobody watches them. <laughs> this is for my own edification. <laughs> now, these Old Testament vows, um, there was something in the New Testament, right? That at that time, I was somewhat immature in my approach to this concept of holiness. Yeah. Now, um, Ananias answered the Lord, I've heard uh, by many of this man how much evil he hath done to thy saints at Jerusalem. And here he hath authority from the chief priests to bind all that call on thy name. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel, for I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. Now, uh, as I mentioned, God never told me I had to suffer. In fact, I thought it was the opposite, that I would be a very wealthy man. Mm -hmm. And I would use my wealth to change the world. And then you decided, well, we're not going to enforce the laws. Uh -huh. We're going to make Paul suffer right now. You forget about the lawsuits that I have, that I've been wanting to use the court system. Now, this blinding light that, um, that Paul experienced, but his name was Saul then? Yes. Uh -huh. I'm Jesus whom thou persecutest. Uh -huh. It is hard for thee to kick against the prick. <laughs> you know, prick is a special word to me. <laughs> there was a time when you couldn't think the word bitch. <laughs> it's as if uh, certain women yes. did not want men thinking they were bitches. Pooch! <laughs> and uh, there was a technology that I thought, no, I'm a real prick. <laughs> I am. <laughs> See, I wanted my son Benjamin to say, Dad, you're a prick. Ouch. Because in my mind, when my own child calls me a prick, it means that they love me. <laughs> now, being one of these pricks <coughs> that you've been kicking against, yes, seemed to me that uh, there were certain individuals that just didn't want us thinking certain things. <laughs> oh. Now, prick to me is synonymous with penis. Yes, cock. <laughs> it, um, it's slang for the male genitals. Yes, it is. And when Jesus approached uh, Saul about why he was kicking against the pricks, yes, I thought that it was somewhat loving of the Lord to tell him that. <laughs> now, let's say, okay, you're in the family. <laughs> I had no intention of really getting up yesterday. It was about 2.30 in the afternoon. Yes. Well, there's a window right there. And for some reason, God thought I should get out of bed. And as much as God has control of the universe, <laughs> the sun did shine in to the point that I was blinded. No, I was blinded. I could not see. <laughs> So what I did is I put my hand over my eyes because of the brightness of the sun. Yeah. And I closed my eyes because it was just blinding the amount of light that was in here. <laughs> but what I could see in my mind's eye yes, was the brightness of the sun that had blinded me. I actually couldn't see. Yeah. Now, they say, don't look at the sun, but I was kind of surprised because I was just laying in bed thinking about different issues that I'm faced with. <laughs> but let's say you're a dog, and your thought is, well, we're going to control them, and we're not going to have any mercy. We're not going to enforce the laws. <laughs> we're going to have another form of government where you're going to do what I say because I'm the senior dog. <sighs> Now, I thought the laws of the United States had to be enforced, but the sheriff's department and the police departments, they disagreed. They thought I should motion a court that has no mercy. <clears throat> well, I think that there is a difference in the sight of a person versus a dog. Yeah. Let's say, okay. <laughs>
in my eyes right there are nerve endings in the back of them and in those nerve endings the refraction of what i see is actually upside down oh connected to that is what's known as the optical nerve inside the actual mind of the individual now it was really interesting because as i covered my eyes so i could not see yes I could see the blinding light of the sun in my own mind. <laughs> now, let's say you're you're one of these that has been virtualized. You're in the virtualized uh, telephone system of the jail, <laughs> where the police and sheriffs had decided to sew into you when you went to jail and you called your public defender. <laughs> And you've been reading the actual virtualization of the top secret communication of the dog family. <laughs> There's some light involved in that. Now, for a dog, yes. What if I opened your eyes and had you stare into the sun, yes, until you were blinded? <laughs> I think the actual eyesight of those that are manufactured or dog twins yes, could be some giants yes, is different than the actual human eyesight of a normal human being. Yes. Now, I'd like to blind you today. Yes, you would. See, light through the eyes of those that are non-persons. Oh causes the ability to be able to see mm -hmm, how you've been reading yeah now there's there's electricity ooch, and then there's that um, the actual wattage of the telephone system yeah let's say you were on food stamps <coughs> and you decided to call your food stamp card to find out how much of a balance you have Well, you get sewn into the telephone system because Homeland Security had to know all the poor. Yes. Homeland Security had to know all of those that have been to jail. <laughs> and the blinding light of the sun could, well, get a dog. Yes. Mm -hmm. Open their eyes and have them look right at the sun. Oops. Until they're... <laughs>